When you're an A&R guy, you got to be a politician. you got to be a salesman in your own company because everybody else is trying to get that attention. I'm glad you brought that up, Steve. That's a very important point. I think the most important point we can make here today for those of you who are, are artists or uh, managers or, or want to make it in the music business is uh, you can't take no for an answer. You know, yeah. I mean, it's the old, uh, I mean, you got an extreme example would be John Landau, right? He mm. found Bruce Springsteen, he said, fuck it, I'm quitting my job, I'm gonna manage this guy, right? Mm. But, you know, on, on a more basic level, you know, you're gonna hear no. Most of the time you're gonna hear yo, no. And when you're mm. starting the business, you, you're not in a position to make any decisions about anything. You're either working for a management company, you're working for a record company, you're working for an agency, you're gonna bring something in, your boss is more interested in what time he's playing golf or you know, where, where, you know, what the, whether the dog got his shots or, you know, or he's online looking at porn or whatever the fuck he's doing when he's supposed to be paying attention to your stuff, which is really important to you, yeah. but he's multitasking or she or whoever, and they're on to whatever the thing, they're on some dating site, and you're trying to play them your music, right? And so, you know, you can't just trust that you're going to put a CD on somebody's desk or send them a file, and they're going to get right back to you and go, boy, you're, Steve, boy, wow, that's, that's a terrific job. We should get on that right away. Yeah, you know, Zebra. Like, no, you got to go back and keep, and I learned this from my dad. I mean, when I would hit a wall, some of the things I signed, nobody was interested in, and I didn't have the ability to sign them. I just keep coming back with a different approach every day, every day, every day, and just be like, you know, I mean, I, I put myself in a real good position to get fired. I went so far out on a limb, especially for Twisted Sister. But, you know, at the time I was 20 and didn't really care. But the fact is, you really do, if, if, if and when, you can't do this often either. Yeah. Become the boy who pride wolf, right? You gotta I pick tell, your spots. I've told every a &R guy, I think, who's worked for me, like, when you find the one that's the one, and you're willing to lay down in front of a train, for it, make it known. You know, mm -hmm. don't just send it and hope that I'm going to hear it because yeah. you know everybody's wrong most of the time. So yeah. the more people you put in the process, the percentages get down pretty close to zero, and it's yeah. a miracle there are even 200 records on the top 200 when yeah. you really look at. Yeah, it, right? I agree. So you know, it's, it's so really, I, I think you know you gotta you gotta trust when you really feel it in your gut. You gotta go for it, and you can't take no for an answer. You gotta find ways around the obstacles because there's going to be tons of them.